Bala Kepa. Today, we will be covering Mario Party 9. It's for the Wii, and today we have a trailer as well as a brief overview of what the game has to offer. We also have Club Nintendo Rewards. And Paper Mario for the 3DS, which we also have a trailer for, and much more. We go live now to the computer lab now to see Mario Party 9. This is Mario Party 9. We will take a look at how it differs from the other Mario Party series, other games in the series. Um, first of all, this game has boss battles. And instead of people rolling separately, you all roll together and you move together as a u one unit in a car or other vehicle that takes them around the board. The game length has been set to about 45 minutes, give or take, uh, we'll say 15. So it could be, and well, it'll usually take about an hour, like most other Mario Party games. The magazine Endzone gave Mario Party 9 a 75% score out of 100. It is rated E for everyone. We will also take a look at some screenshots for the game. This is a mini game. Looks sort of like a racing game. I know it's going to be a racing game because you can see the finish and the start. And it looks like players are either riding in bullet bills or on bullet bills. But since I can't see their legs, I'm going to assume that they're riding somehow in a bullet shape. A uh, bullet bill shaped car or something like that. And for some reason, Daisy seems to be going faster. Whether that's because she's in last place or because she had a power up or something, we do not know yet. There are also, uh, I believe. Six or seven playable boards. Mario Party Legacy is, of course, a great place to go if you want to look up some news on Mario Party 9. Yes, they have Toad Road, which it looks kind of like a new Super Mario Brothers uh, board map, sort of. Has a beanstalk in the background and a cannon. There's also a bomb on factory. Looks very uh, technical. We've seen some uh, trailers for bomb on factory, and it looks like when you land on the green spaces. It looks sort of like a conveyor belt, so it moves the vehicle along to the left, but whether you, when you land on the one to the left, whether it would take you around all the way to the front again, where you sort of started, is unknown, or whether it would like just take you back one square or something, I do not know yet, but it looks sort of mechanical so far. There's also Boo's Horror Castle, which unfortunately does possibly mean that Boo will not be a playable character for this one. Which is unfortunate, since Boo was one of my favorite characters. But since Boo's house in Mario Party 8 did exist along with Boo, there also a slight possibility that Boo could appear as a character, although very unlikely. It's also sort of a ghoulish 
sort of map, like a uh, haunted bash, or uh, yeah, it looks a lot like the Mario Party 8 version of the Foo's map. There's also Blooper Beach, which looks sort of like Koopa's seaside soiree. There's a pirate ship, and instead of riding on a car, you're riding in a submarine or a boat. Magma Mine is going to be, it's going to start off, start off really uh, calm, and then if you defeat a uh, like mid-level boss, board truly begins to heat up, so maybe that's when the lava begins to form and chase you. It says the magma levels begin to rise with each turn. Oh, it's each turn. And it's going to be moving the magma level two spaces. Bowser Station, unfortunately, uh, doesn't have a picture. But we will... But we do know that the vehicle will be in the shape of a star. And that the board is going to be set in space. Unfortunately, they do not have a screenshot for it. And DK's Jungle Ruins looks like... And it does change the rules a bit. Um, and looks sort of like in the shape of DK, this small little island thing. And it looks fairly short. This game is going to be coming out on North America Sunday, March 11th, is what they are saying. Um, it's all, it's already come out in Europe. Lucky guys, I wish I could be playing, but uh, it also comes out for Australia on actually this Thursday, March 8th, and in Japan it'll come out in, on April 26th. So Japan is usually gets their games first, but surprisingly, they're getting this one last. Um, list of characters for this game. So far they have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Wario, Waluigi, Yoshi, Birdo, Toad, Koopa, Shiga, and Kamek as playable characters. And Boo, Dry Bones, Blooper, and Hammer Bro do not return as playable characters. And Toadette does not appear at all in this game. The bosses will consist of Lakitu, Wiggler, Womp, Big Bomb Om, Dry Bones, King Boo, Cheap Cheap, Blooper, Spike, which seems to be a new character, Chain Chomp, Bowser Jr., and Bowser. The other characters, um, they are neither playable nor bosses, and but they do appear in this Mario Party and serve some sort of role. Yellow Toad, Blue Toad, Green Toad, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Goombas, Boos, Bomb Oms, Dry Bones, Fire Bros, Cheap Cheeps. Whittles, Piantas, Piranha Plants, Bullet Bills, Penguins, Dolphins, Mecha Koopas, Spinies, Bob Bombs, Monty Moles, Mr. Blizzards, The Womps, Seagulls, Swoopers, Sushi, Hucket Crab.